Okay, guys. <laughs> the teacher. The teacher. The teacher. The teacher, honey. Um. Episode 7. I have to say. Okay, I'm on 26%. I can take out my charger. Shit. Alright, you guys. <sighs> Last time on this shit, he was getting out of the shower, so. Oh my god. I was mentally exhausted. If you guys can, like. <sighs> here like I'm smiling so fucking hard <laughs> I just I need to know what's gonna happen next girl I was expecting to be tired at the end of the day with Kylie but this wasn't even because of her um she's actually the easy going one here with Cassie constantly being on my case and the fact that I'm living with my teacher whom was whom I I just saw half it naked. It was kind of... Nah, it was a little exciting. It's dangerous. <laughs> I usually shy away from danger, but he's definitely doing something to me. Maybe it's the fact that I know so many girls are interested in him. I kind of feel special that he's giving me attention. Oh, well. And detention. <laughs> These inappropriate scenarios keep popping up in my head. I can't hear them downstairs. The music has been turned off and it's strangely quiet. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm not, it's not my business. I'll go to bed and watch a movie. I'm not sure I can concentrate on it though. In not many hours, I have to go look at Mr. Cullen in the eyes again. <laughs> We're going to Central Park with Kylie tomorrow. Maybe if I'm lucky, he's invited Ka uh, Cassie. She'll do anything to make sure he doesn't pay attention to me, which I could use right now. I'm going to die of shame tomorrow. God help me. Um, what should we wear to Central Park? Let's let's try everything on. Okay, I don't like this fucking skirt. No. Let's go with girly. This is cute. I can see this. Now let's see casual. No, we're going to go with girly. Perfect. I guess I'm ready. I need to head downstairs and start working on the picnic basket. As I got down to the kitchen, there was no, uh, there was no Cassie and no Mr. Collins. I thought it was perfect. I could use a little extra time to mentally prepare myself to face both of them both. Him especially. So I just started preparing the picnic basket. Let's go with... Garlic bread, I guess. Good. Now I need a dish that's a bit more filling. Uh... Let's go with the fucking pasta. Okay, and delicious now. We... Need some sweet snacks. Uh, let's go with the blueberry fucking muffins. Fantastic. I packed some soda, some water, a blanket, a tableware, wait, in tableware, picnic basket, done. Good morning, Miss Rose. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is it. The embarrassment <laughs> will rain on me. Keep your cool, Mia. Okay, good Good morning, Mr. Collins. Are you ready to go pick up Callie? Yeah, yes, definitely. You're pretty cute when you're embarrassed. <laughs> Do you know that? This is gonna be fucking cute, girl. I gulped. My heart was beating so fast I could feel the pounding in my ears. <laughs> No, it wasn't just my face turning red. It was my entire body. I had to say something, but if I, I, but I knew if I opened my mouth right now, I would embarrass myself again. Help me, devil. Um, calm down. 
You think so? Thanks. Oh, uh, anyway. I'm sorry, I forgot to lock the doors last night. I hope I didn't uh, traumatize you too much. It's uh, okay. Um, Just remember it next time, okay? <laughs> I will. Thank you for calming me down there, devil. I needed that. So, um, how did it go with Cassie last night? <laughs> you knew about her cooking for me? Yeah, she actually asked me if I could take um Kylie out. Oh, my. I'm sorry. I, I thought you felt the same way about her. Well, um, I had dinner with her just because I didn't want to embarrass her. Damn, Cassie seems to think that I want something more with her, which I don't. She works for my mother and that's it. But asking you and Kylie to leave the house so she could make a move on me was just too much. I'm sorry about that. It won't happen again. I had to talk to her about it. Um, You don't have to apologize for anything. In my eyes, you were just being a great friend for Cassie. Mm. And considerate of my feelings, too. Mm. Feelings I don't have for her, but still. <laughs> I'm sorry you've been dragged into my personal life like this, Miss Rose. Honestly, I think it's nice. It kind of makes you a bit less intimidating. The situation last night would have been also a bit less awkward. If I saw you... If I saw you a bit more as a friend than as my teacher and boss. Here at home at least. But I respect you, your wish of being professional at school. You're right. I've been wrong to think I could be as professional here at home as I can at school. Let's turn the professionalism down a notch when we're home, okay? Thanks. I appreciate it. How about we start with what we call each other? You can call me Daryl if you want. I'd like to take you up on the offer to call you Mia. Sounds good, Daryl. I don't want to call you that, child. I like to call you Mr. Collins. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> it does something for me, <laughs> Mia. <laughs> it felt... Uh, uh, it felt a, a shiver down my spine, or I felt a shiver down my spine as he said my name, baby. We held eye contact for a few seconds too long, not too much, but enough to make me blush again. So, are you ready to pick Callie up and go to Central Park? Yes. Let's go then. Grab your basket, grab your imaginary basket, bitch, and let's go. Despite the reason we had this talk, I'm glad we did. I'm sure it will help me keep my cool around him in the future. Okay, girl. What the hell is going on? Okay, after we ate, Kelly ran down to the lake shore to pick flowers for her room. Both... Callie and Dura were very happy with the food I picked. I sat down on the bench my dad and I used to sit on when I was little and eat pretzels. Daryl came over to me and sat down next to me. It's funny to be sitting here again. It's the same thing, but then again, it's different. Some trees are gone and some have grown even bigger than they once were. Sitting this close to each other made me nervous. I think it made him nervous as well because we both tried not to look at each other, which is kind of hard when you are having a conversation. It's kind of how I feel about Kylie. We both looked over to her. She was humming, unaware of us watching her. He sighed at, I, I briefly switched my look from Kylie to him. She's grown up so much since I la since I last saw her. <clears throat> um, why did you move away? It, it's kind of personal, Mia. It's jaw and much muscle tense. What? I must have hit a tender spot. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck. He took a deep breath 
In through his nose and closed his eyes. He held his breath for a few seconds before letting out a huge sigh as if he was letting go of our conversation. I'm sorry. Let's take this conversation another time. Let's take this conversation on the or whatever. I never heard that time in my years. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pry. I know, it's okay. Why don't you tell me a bit about yourself? He asks while still looking out to the lake. What do you want to know? Um, how about everything? Do you really want to know everything about me? Why not? We're going to be spending a lot of time together. Well, child, that's 18 years worth of information, baby. And I don't think I'm really, I don't think I can really give you that much information, child. He looked over at me, smiled his way to a captivating smile at me. Made me blush and focus my gaze down um, to the dandelions next to my right. But he's actually interested in getting to know me. Wait, oh. Maybe uh, I was a bit quick to judge him back at the airport. Okay, well, I can tell you the basics about me. The rest you'll probably have to discover along the way. I will. Oh, okay. <laughs> he said that while smiling to himself, still not moving his gaze from the lake onto me. Okay, so when I was little, and I'm going to assume she just got to talk. I told him about my childhood, about living with my dad. I told him about Kelly. I told him I really wanted to get into NYU. I want to study. What do you want to study? Oh, Jesus. Oh, what do I want to study? Child. Um. Uh. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what I want to study. <laughs> Let's say... Shit. Let's say... Cooking. Okay, I want to study cooking. I didn't feel like... Put, uh, I should have put culinary arts. Uh, NYU can help uh, do that. I just need to get in. Oh, you know, I should have said be a doctor or something. I should have had some high hopes and dreams for this bitch here but whatever it's april and <laughs> there's only a few months until we graduate kelly and i have agreed to wait until next summer to apply to nyu kelly's taking a sabbatical and i'm um dedicating this year to working and saving up money kelly's parents have a lot of money she and her brother sam never have never needed anything besides the love the love from their parents they travel a lot i know how much it affects kelly when we were younger she kind of went through a rebel phase it was always just kelly sam and their housekeeper but then sam got his doctor's degree and um decided to move to somewhere in africa mm -hmm, to help people <laughs> It's weird to think about him again. He was a great guy. I hope everything's going well for him. He has such an amazing body, Kelly. I couldn't stop looking at him. And when I had to face him the next morning, I stuttered. I must have looked so stupid. <laughs> then he told me I looked cute when I'm embarrassed. Oh my god. <laughs> Can I please sleep with him? Girl, Kelly, no. What the fuck? No, not Mr. Collins Mia. That guy over there who's sitting up he was sitting against the wall. What oh god, I don't see it. Gasp. No, it can't be him. What Mia, wait. Okay, where the hell where, Mia, where you going, baby? It's him. Wait, it is him. Who is it? Who are you talking about, Mia? And there he was, standing against the red brick wall of our school. My childhood lover and best friend. Unlock the special scene, baby. He like his goddamn name, Miguel. <laughs> William. Yeah, right. Motherfucking Miguel Anderson. <laughs> My Miguel. 
Hell no. The last time I saw him, I was 10 years old. Why he got these gray hairs, though, child? He has grown up so much. Wow, look at him. He was rugged. His hair is messy. And his clothes were casually sexy on him. I noticed a butterfly sitting on his hand. It brought back tons of childhood memories. The butterflies have always been his thing. Why do we got gray hair? I just stood there staring at him. I didn't even know what to say or do. But something inside of me just wanted to run over to him and wrap my arms around his neck. I miss him so much. What if he doesn't even recognize me? What if he's forgotten me? I needed to find out if he remembered me and what he was doing here, sitting up against the wall of my school. But his legs were shaking. This was not the young, kind of geeky-looking will I parted with almost nine years ago. He was so beautiful. Okay, okay, here I go. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> I really have to play this. I love them purple eyeballs, y'all. Love them purple eyeballs, plenty. All right. Well, that was this episode, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it.